I, I think it's tough to be quicker than the Blackhawks. They're a, a speedy team. Um, obviously, it's very important to them. Um, but I, I thought we established what we wanted to do early, and we continued that through the whole game. Um, and that showed up uh, on the score sheet. You, you guys look like completely different teams at home and on the road. What do you feel like you need to bottle up about being here in order to be successful? Because you have to win a game there this year, this series. Uh, yeah, I mean, certainly we don't have home ice, so um, you're right. We're going to have to eventually win one there. Um, but really, that's not our focus right now. I can't explain to you why we were 10-1 and one last year. I can't explain to you right now why we're unbeaten at home right now. Um, but uh, as you know, um, we've, we've, cut, we've cut it in half, and um, now it's important for us to, to even it up. And for eventually, as you said, we're going to have to win one there. So um, we're not focused on that yet. We're focused on a big game for on Thursday. This was a game essentially you had to win. The <clears throat> season was probably on the line. How how satisfying is it to win to win in a must win situation? Well, we know we know the stats of teams that uh, have come back from 3-0, and it's not very good. Um, so I, I said before the game, it wasn't a must win, but it it, it was a must win, and um, we responded with uh, um, with a great effort, um, top to bottom. And, um, you know, we got it done. Justin, it, it seemed like you guys were able to disrupt their spacing a little more tonight, particularly like the, the tight puck support that they've had in the first couple of games. Was that an adjustment or, or just a matter of intensity? Uh, we were just quicker. We were quicker everywhere on the ice. Um, they're a transition team. They're an um, explosive offensive team if you give them opportunities. And we just limited their time and space because we uh, were on our toes instead of our heels. And... Um, we were able to uh, spend a lot more time in the offensive zone than we did in the first two games. Um, and in turn, um, we were able to make some things happen in there. Justin, talk about the uh, physical play and, and how important that was tonight. And, and uh, is that the key to beating these guys in the, uh, for the long haul? I'm not sure what the key is, but certainly that's a big part of it. Um, you have to be hard on, on their top players. And you have to be hard on their defense because they're very mobile. And uh, if you don't hit them, they're going to jump right by and get an offensive opportunity. Um, so we we tried to do that, especially early. Did you have to make any adjustments to your game tonight with the, the changes to your line? There's always adjustments to be had. But um, you know, Jarrett was the center tonight. And um, sometimes when you switch lines up um, and, and play with different players, you're able to simplify a lot more. And um, you know, play more of a, a straight-ahead uh, game, and we we're able to get uh, uh, pucks behind them, uh, and in turn, as I said, have a lot more off as of his own time than we had in the first two games. Justin Rob Scuderi talked about when you work hard, you can make breaks for yourself, and the Voinov goal, uh, you know, a broken stick, and it still finds a way to get in. Um, just talk about just the again the effort tonight. I think for the most part. Um, the result on the scoreboard is usually the result of how the team played. Um, if you didn't play great, you, you, you know, you're not usually going to win. And uh, I, I thought we, we just played better than them tonight. They played better than us the first two games. Um, and, um, you know, sometimes those go in. It was a, uh, <laughs> a broken bat single that went in from, from Voinoff there. And, hey, uh, we had a lot of zone time against them, and uh, that was one that paid off. Saved by Quick at the end of the game on Bickle with about three minutes to go, just on it. Again, how big? I was awesome. I, I came to him after the game, and I don't know if everyone saw it because it was kind of in tight, but that was an amazing save to preserve the lead. And That's what you need. You're going to need that, um, especially uh, since we didn't put that team away. When we were up 2 nothing. we didn't get that third goal on a four-minute power play. Um, so we had to um, you know, grind it out towards there at the end, and that was a huge save. I mean, I can't uh, say. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just like a... A broken record with Quick. He just keeps saying, "Yeah, that was a big save." And uh, <laughs> there's not much more you can say. I I think he obviously was a you know a dirty play, but I'm not sure that uh, I'm not sure that uh, that Keith obviously meant to do it that hard. You know, he looked like he wanted to go see, make sure he was okay after. Um, I think it was you know more of an instinct thing, but I don't think it was a malicious intent. No. Coming, coming back to Slava, kind of becoming a trend with him now. I mean, not only with winners, but the, the way that they're happening. How does he manage to find that quiet ice when the play is so congested a lot of times? I don't really have to ask him, but he seems to, seems to find some ways. As you said, he seems to find some holes, and um, 
even though he doesn't speak too much English, he talks a lot on the ice, surprisingly. And uh, you always know when he's open. Um, <laughs> so he, he jumped in the play, and he's, he's scored some huge goals for us. Last year, he said that Mitchell was learning Russian. Have you picked up any Russian so you can talk to him? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just Not even the dirty words. <laughs> a, a win is a win, and it's a great win. But uh, talk about doing it the hard way. Again, basically scoring two goals and how hard it's going to be down the road. To, we got three tonight. Uh, we, three. Well, we won't three. count the empty netter. Uh, we got three. Okay, you got three. <laughs> how about the first two? I'm, yeah. But seriously, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's tough to win that way, isn't it? even in the playoffs. Yeah, I, I, we don't care how we get it done. Everyone's been saying, you know, um, Kings have, uh, um, you know, maybe grinded their way through a lot, a lot easier or a lot harder than, than it was last year, and it is. It's supposed to be hard, and uh, we don't care if it's five nothing or two one, which it usually is. Um, we'll we'll have to get it done. If it's another two one game, we'll take that as well. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Has your outlook as a professional athlete changed at all now that you are venturing to win a third championship as it did when you were looking to win your first? No, the, drive's, the drive is just is still there. It's um, the drive to play as, as, as late as the hockey season and be the last team standing is um, something as a hockey player that keeps driving me. Um, you know, you want to win another championship, and I know everyone in there in our room wants to win as well. And... Um, you don't want to see anyone else uh, raise that cup over their heads, but you. It's it's too frustrating. You don't want to watch it, and uh, so we're going to do our best to make sure that we're the ones. As you, the the first two games, they were good in the neutral zone, and you guys were struggling. What was the difference tonight? Well, it's a series. I mean, that's it is what it is. Uh, usually not going to win four straight. Um, you know, you're usually not going to lose four straight. Um, there's ups and downs in a series, and um, they were better. We were better. Uh, we need to continue to uh, elevate.